Hey everyone, it is Friday, February 16th, and I am here with a little Sprouts and a little Aldi run, which will be the last of the grocery shopping I'm doing in February. So I've got 13 days to With go. only $17 left in the budget for the month of February, but that's why they call it a challenge, right? This produce run, I think I am set. I tried to talk myself into just doing without until the end of the month, and I decided, nah, I <laughs> just, that's gonna to be too tough for me. I'm really into my salads for work and I was down to basically kale. <laughs> Nothing to put on the salad except kale. So I had to do the run. I'm here at Sprouts hoping to get lucky on the clearance veg. Let's go in and take a look at what they've got going. You've gotta love Sprouts for their clearance veg. Sometimes I get really lucky, sometimes I just get a little lucky, but there's always something worth picking up. And these prices sure make it worth stopping by and seeing how lucky I can get. So it's my weekly mission to have a look-see. Unfortunately today, a lot of these salads just weren't worth picking up. Next up was Aldi to round things out for the week. Everyone has their go-to veg. Mine is bell peppers and broccoli. And I've been out of broccoli for about 10 days and Aldi has a pretty good price on it today at $1.45 a pound. So I'm going to have to pick that up. They have good prices in general. But today, you guys, the eggs were up to $2.78. Last time they were $1.60 just a week ago. I'm glad I picked up two dozen then. I'm going to hit that register and head home. Yeah, let me spin you around and we'll go over it real quick. So as usual, going to Sprouts on a Friday, you know, a day late there, it looked like I could have gotten lucky on my beloved kohlrabi slaw, but I missed the game, missed out, but that's okay. At least I found what I did. This avocado ranch salad, it was marked down to 75 cents. I almost didn't see it because they had all of the salad kits basically like two for seven or whatever they said. And then they had a clearance sticker on top of that. So good thing I had a second look. This is mostly, you know, cabbage-ish, but I'll mix it with kale. And then they had this little pint of mixed chopped peppers. That was 75 cents. And I'll throw that in my salad also. So those two came to a whopping $1.50 at Sprouts. And here's my little Aldi haul. I've been out of fresh broccoli for too long. I think I'm one of those people, if I had to pick one vegetable, it would be broccoli, not including flavoring vegetables like onion and garlic. This was, you know, meant to be a produce run, and I only have enough cream to get me through probably three more days. So I decided it was worth the almost five bucks to make sure I didn't run out. And then you know me, <laughs> I had to check my favorite chicken to see if I could find any short dated. And I found one. And I know it sounds weird to be excited about finding food that's two days expired, but this is vacuum sealed. And sure enough, the same clerk that marked it down last time took 75% off. So I got this for $2.25. And it is almost 1.6 pounds of chicken for $2.25. And if you saw my prior Aldi haul where I got the marked down chicken, that was chicken thighs marinated in a teriyaki sauce. I've eaten one of those, the other one's still in the freezer. But this is chicken breasts, and these are my favorite of the two. You've seen my fridge. This will round things out nicely. I got another bag of peppers with two red in there. I always feel lucky about that. This broccoli. 213. The onions, I have some white onions still or yellow onions, but I was completely out of red. And I like to have those for salads. And then they started carrying these little, what look like Roma tomatoes at 89 cents a pound. And so I got a few of those because I have a lot of fresh basil growing. And I wanna do kind of, you know, like a soft mozzarella, tomato, basil kind of thing. To mix up the salads this coming week. So then just to look at my receipt really quick, there's that chicken with the 75% off and my total came to $14.95. So let's call it 15 plus $1.50 at Sprouts. That's 16.50. So I'm over by 50 cents, but I'm not gonna beat myself up about that. This is all good healthy food. 
the one thing I have to do is stay out of the grocery store next weekend. And then I also wanted to share with you, you know, part of not spending money if you don't have to. Well, Greg Hurwitz is my absolute favorite thriller author and his Orphan X series is fantastic. Highly recommend. This is his new book. It just released on Valentine's Day. Normally I would have downloaded it to my Kindle, but it was close to 20 bucks. So I went on my library. They already had six holes, but God bless them. I went ahead, I placed a hold and this came available the very next day and made sure I picked it up this morning. And that's going to be my evening's entertainment. I know it's silly, but I am so excited to read that book. So that just really made my week right there. Thanks for sharing in my little shopping haul and my no spin low spin plans for the month of february give me a shout out down below if you're still working the pantry challenge through february and let me know how you're thanks doing thanks for watching guys i will see you on the next one